Hi there, I'm John Bond from Riverwinds Consulting and this is Publishing Defined. Today I'm going to discuss taxonomies and scholarly publishing. Taxonomy is the practice and science of classification. The word has evolved and now applies to the classification of things, concepts, as well as the principles underlying such classifications. Most taxonomies have a hierarchical structure. A taxonomy is not metadata. A reminder that metadata is data about data. For a journal article, metadata might include the article title, author's names, journal's names that it was published in, issue page numbers, and a host of other items. Each field likely follows an established and recognized format. Metadata is necessary to make a piece of content discoverable to a reader or user. A taxonomy takes the meta, that metadata or information and relates it to all the other pieces of content. A taxonomy should encompass the whole subject and be an agreed upon standardized list of terms that ensures consistent tagging of pieces of content. Taxonomies are used in search to surface the right piece of content and then provide closely related content to the reader. Sometimes an organization or publisher may create their own taxonomy. Preferable is when there is an agreed upon taxonomy within a subject area or discipline. Taxonomy should be part of the big picture in content creation, including in production, when content is being created, when metadata formatting is being decided upon, with content storage, with the content management system or CMS, or digital asset management or DM, D, DAM, in website design and the user interface, and of course, in search and discoverability decisions. Well, that's it. Hit the like button below if you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the link to see my previous vi video on metadata and make comments below or email me with any questions. Thanks so much and take care.